Hi fam, welcome back to our channel, Design on the Dollar. I'm your host, Ida, and today I'm excited about this video. Today I am participating in a collab with one of my sister channels here on YouTube, Soul Fashion Plus. Nikki from Soul Fashion Plus contacted me and asked me if I would like to do a collab with her, and I said, sure. And I asked her what the details were, and she wanted us to pick something from Z Gallery or IKEA and try to recreate that using all or mostly Dollar Tree items. Said I got just the project that I've been wanting to do. I've been kind of steering clear from it because I was kind of afraid to tackle it. So if you want to see what had me in knots about doing, just continue to watch. Okay fam, before I give you the supplies, I wanted to show you what I was going to make. I'm a post a, I'm a post a picture as well, but um, I am going to do the Royce um, mirror. It retails for $4.49 um, on Z Gallery. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of pictures of it and um, let you guys see in slow time motion um, what it looks like up close. And it looks like um, at first glance I thought that they were rotated, one was rotated. But one is actually pushed forward and one is pushed back. And there's a little gap between the ones that are um, pushed back. So I, I, I just wanted to show you guys so you can see where I was going with this. And that's a fr front view of it. So now I'm going to jump in the supplies that I chose to use. As always, when I do something that doesn't all come from the Dollar Tree, I like to give you the Dollar Tree option first. Okay, so Dollar Tree has the 10 inch mirror. Because the mirror is so small and the blocks looks like they're probably two inches or an inch, that um, it doesn't work well. But if you want to use the Dollar Tree mirror, you can order these blocks off of Amazon. Now what I am going to do to make a, a 16 inch one um, on camera. And I'm going to use a combination of both blocks. The Dollar Tree blocks and the ones I got off of Amazon. So if you want to see how, oh and then I'm going to use a Dollar Tree poster board hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, and E6000. And you would need some chrome spray paint. Yes, chrome spray paint. You have to go to your auto store to get it. And you need some metallic silver spray paint. Um, you need both of them to achieve the look that you're going to get or need. So let's jump right into this DIY, guys. All right, fam. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your um carb your styrofoam board poster board and you want to find something I'm correct I need to correct myself the mirror is a 14 inch mirror so you want to get a mirror you want a border that's two inches around so you want to find something that's 16 inches and you want to draw a, draw that trace that circle and then you're going to cut that circle out and once you have your circle um, and your blocks, you're going to take them outside. With your circle, you're just going to cover the two inches around here. You don't have to do the whole thing. And then with your blocks, you want to give them two coats of the Duraply Color Universal Chrome or whatever chrome color you use. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason why you have to use chrome as well as a metallic. Um, you want to do two coats of this and then put a coat of this on it. Because if you only use this, 
your block is going to come out looking it's going to come out just looking with a little bit of shine on it you you want the um, blocks to look sort of like a mirror and you see the difference this one right here was done with two coats of the chrome plus the um, metallic and this one is just done with the metallic but um, trust me it's a big difference this one looks like glass looks like it look you can see it now it has more of a reflection in it than this one does you can still see the numbers and things on it and this is two coats of the metallic on this um do two coats of this and one coat of this and then you'll get that mirror look that you need so i'm gonna do that and then i'll be right back so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to affix our um mirror to our phone board okay and next we're going to start positioning our blocks around we're going to sit it like this and right now i'm just going to abut everything to the um, mirror so I'm going to do this all the way around and then when I come back we'll go to the next step. <clears throat> now that we have all of the blocks around I want to point out one thing. When I got right here, let me take it out, it's not completely dry. When I got right here, the space was too big. So what I did was I measured it and I took one of the larger blocks outside and I um, cut it down to size to slide in here. I was wondering which, I know which option I'm gonna go with, but I do want to hear from you guys. You saw the inspiration picture, and would you leave it just like this, or would you do like I am gonna do and off center, offset the big one just a tad bit? Like And I want to hold it there for a second to let it dry. If you're like me and you're kind of impatient, you want to go ahead and get it done, um, you can go ahead and fix everything up and do like I'm going to do with the painter's tape 
and then spray paint it afterward after you finish setting everything up okay guys i'm gonna do some of this off camera and i'll be back okay guys i am loving my decision to go in and to take the larger ones back but i'm gonna flip it over and lay it down flat mm, it's not all the way dry so i want to try to make sure that i get it down either nothing on pop and then i'm just going to go behind it and i'm going to seal it all the way around All right, and while I have it turned over, I'm going to get my jute twine, secure the jute twine on the back. Okay, and I'll let that dry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry. I am going to uh, flip it back over and put the um, painter's tape on. Take it outside and spray it really good. And then I will come back tomorrow to show you guys the finished product. And don't forget to go over to Sew Plus Fashions. Uh, page and show her collab video or her recreation or dupe from either Ikea or Z Gallery and let her know that Design on the Dollar sent you guys. So I'll be back with the finished product. Okay guys, I wanted to come back and show you guys right quick the Dollar Tree version of this project and how I set everything up. Um, so I took the foam board, the Dollar Tree foam board, and then I took a Dollar Tree um, Lazy Susan and I put the Lazy Susan on top of the styrofoam and I traced it out and then I cut it out with my X-Acto knife. And after I did that, I took a 10 inch cake plate, um, cake um, plate thing, and I put tape on the back of it. And I'm going to center this with the brown side up onto the foam board. Just like that. And then I'm going to place my um, blocks around it. So I just wanted to come back and show you guys that, show you um, that you can do this with all Dollar Tree items. Um, and as I said, you can take these out and use completely Dollar Tree items. So the 10 inch Dollar Tree mirror, which is gonna go right here, just like that. Um, Dollar Tree phone board, um, Dollar Tree blocks. So. I'll be back with the finished product of all of them. I wanted to show you guys the small ones. Now this is one without the mirror in it. And so if you didn't have the mirror and you just want the mirror look, you see that you can get that um, just by having the styrofoam and the blocks in there. And this is the one that actually has the mirror in it. So you can see the difference. So you can use it without the mirror. Okay fam, as promised, here they are. I have them hanging. Here's all three of them. That's the, those are the 10 inch mirrors from the Dollar Tree ones. And that is the 14 inch one. And these are my Z Gallery Royce mirror, mirror inspired DIY. And don't forget to go over to So Fashion Plus and check her video out. I'll leave an eye in the sky for her um, channel along with 
um, a link down in the description box. So.